Hello, my name is Fred Amarin and welcome to EFC Plus, the college funding solution. This video is to do with the FAFSA, or what's called the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. The FAFSA is a cornerstone for the financial aid process. It's created by the Department of Education and managed by them, but it's also linked to the IRS system through a process called the DRT, or Data Retrieval Tool. Every college that deploys federal funds, and mostly state funds, require the FAFSA form to be completed and verified before funds will be released. Starting in 2016, the FAFSA will become available on October 1st. This is a change from the prior years, which used to be available starting January 1st of each year. It is a personal snapshot of your financial life, including most of the items that are in it, excluding your home, your retirement accounts, and if you're a small family business owner with less than 100 employees. All other things need to be included as part of the process. When you complete the FAFSA, you get what's called an EFC, or Expected Family Contribution. This is displayed when you complete the form and also through a report called the Student Aid Report, or SAR. This number is a very important number since it, it generates a number that is used for the need-based financial aid picture. It also tells the schools your ability to pay, so it's important that all families complete this. It's verified through what's called the DRT, or Data Retrieval Tool, which links the IRS system together. As I said, it's an important part of the need-based financial aid process. By lowering this number, you will qualify for need-based aid, but also remember that your ability to pay is also considered in the process. It does need to be completed each year as you go through the process to requalify you for financial aid. Again, my name is Fred Amron. Thank you for joining us on EFC Plus. Please sign up for our newsletter on EFC Plus or join the channel. Thanks and have a great day.